<laughs> you are guys and welcome back to the channel and another creepy video it's been a while yeah been, it feels like ages i mean um but we're back and this is going to be a really exciting episode guys because as you can see we are in this really creepy looking woods why this is going to be an exciting kind of two-part episode guys is because not only is this woods one of the most haunted woods in the uk but within this woods there is an abandoned prison where people have actually died yeah. so <laughs> we are going to be coming back here in the like the darkness of night just with night vision cameras and we're going to go explore fiona's not happy because she's got the the drone backpack what do you think you look like you're seven yeah so this woods dates back like centuries old and what basically is the phantom that haunts this woods is a horse a man on a horseback and he's like charging through the forest like really quickly like at breakneck speed and so many people have seen him and it's like one of the most documented cases in this area so it was me and Luke when we first came here it was in like the height of summer it was a boiling boiling hot yeah, day why not? And we were just walking through because we were looking for the prison. We weren't even doing anything like paranormal at this point. And we just both instantly felt so cold, but it was a boiling hot day. And like, even under my jeans, I had like goosebumps mm. going all the way up and we were both freezing. And we both just looked at each other like, what the hell? And it was just the most sinister feeling. And I kept looking behind me to see if there was anyone there. And it was just, I've never experienced anything like that. That was like the first time I've ever felt like paranormal so it's really exciting to actually investigate here and not only that guys not only these rumors of this horseman who just sort of flashes through the woods like uh what is that like a phantom horseman yeah not only that, yeah but the actual abandoned prison people have actually died there and when we actually made months and months ago now maybe even a year ago yeah we, we made an abandoned video about the prison actual ex-prisoners actually got in touch with us <laughs> didn't they yeah and they were few. yeah and it was kind of weird but they and they were saying just how sort of nasty it was to be there and how kind of abusive it was like really really negative energy so it's going to be a great investigation guys because we got an uh, like a abandoned prison full of negative energy in the heart of this one of the most haunted woods in the uk and it is quite you had to quite a walk to get there so yeah if anything goes wrong we're yeah, gonna be like in the no middle escape. of nowhere <laughs> i mean the sounds that come out of this place you know the birds and the trees <laughs> super creepy um we're just making our way out to the prison um creepy story about the last time we we're in this specific point in the woods basically we were walking through where we are right now and we stopped for a bit for me to get my camera and stuff like that anyway after like five ten minutes of talking we hear like this massive snap and it was literally probably just down there and this thing it must have whatever it was it was heavy and it just fucking went and i thought well it's obviously a deer or something you know what i mean yeah. but why would a deer stalk you and bearing in mind we had come from that direction and then all of a sudden why would it just out of nowhere for no reason just go it was so, so creepy and we haven't seen any ever. Yeah. We've been here a few times, we've never seen a yeah, deer. We've never seen a deer. And sometimes when you see a deer run away, you can just sort of see it going. Yeah. And bobbing up and down, but... And it wasn't birds either, there were no birds flying or anything. But the weird thing was, which might make it kind of more creepy, looking back on it actually, was it was one big snap sound and thud, and then you couldn't hear anything else. Like you would hear them running away and rustling. More to you would though, wouldn't you? Yeah, you would. As I said, guys, probably was nothing, but still kind of really creepy. <laughs> guys, look at that tree. But in the middle of loads of fir trees, and then there's one fucking. I uh, don't. I just. That's a well weird tree. It's completely out of place. Wow. This is like the most Blair Witch place you will ever be. <laughs> Alright, so this is where the sort of woods sort of branches into like this sort of border and just over there is where this massive abandoned prison is and there's crows everywhere and they keep, for some reason they seem really scared, like, sort of like weird today. Yeah, they, they keep, keep like bolting. 
as you can see, this is the beginning of the abandoned prison and it is as creepy as anything. And this isn't even one of the other places where they'd stay. I think this would have been a, a storage unit or something like that, maybe for cars. As you can see, sort of a slope up to it. But we are literally going to be here pitch black night time. to boot that out, I didn't mean to say that word. Alright guys, as you can see, these creepy sort of outlast. Yeah, no, like outlast. it's literally... <laughs> outlast the game if you've ever played it, it looks exactly like it. And these are the massive sort of, what would you call them? I guess prison cells. Yeah, I mean, it's a juvenile prison, so it's not quite as high security. Yeah. So these would be like their cells. But am I correct in saying that the, the children were rumoured to actually be abused, weren't they? Yeah, by the general guy and by each other. I mean, just guys, that is just the creepiest thing. And we're going to be wandering around this at, <laughs> at night time. Massive courtyard. <laughs> Are you excited for this one? No, <laughs> I'm going to be honest. <laughs> I'm absolutely bricking it. I mean, I don't like being here at this time. No, it's the creepiest place ever. Like, I've never been somewhere like this. I say this every time, but it is. It really is. <laughs> well, Next time we'll be here, guys, it will be night time. <laughs> yeah, I just noticed this, guys, as well. There seems to be fresh... I mean, I'm not a tracker or anything, but it seems to be fresh tire marks, because they weren't here last time, weren't they? No. <laughs> I mean, definitely, because you think all the, all the leaves falling recently and all the mud and rain, yeah. they look fresh as anything. They lead down here. They're going to be arrested. I can't get over this tree, guys. Just look how creepy that is. So, as I said, guys, I, I absolutely, and I know you do as well. Hate it. I hate it in there. It's just a weird. <laughs> Sorry. I hate in there, guys, even in daytime. So we're just heading back down from the, uh, the prison, which we will be returning to. So when you see us again, we're going to be back here in the pitch black and carrying out a full-blown paranormal investigation and <laughs> I'm excited but also terrified because I can't explain how scary it is now so at night it's gonna be next level yeah but we just wanted to make this part one just to sort of set the scene and so that you guys understand why this place is so creepy and why yeah. we've wanted to make this video for a long long time yeah literally since the first day we came here so yeah. but as always guys thank you so much for being patient with us and thank you so much for watching this video and we will see you in part two. Yeah. <laughs>